Hey y'all, good morning. Y'all know what it do. Today's a longer drive day, so here we go with the videos. And I was supposed to not be um making new videos until I posted all my own ones, but here we are, baby. Here we are. So let's get it. Um, I saw a post from my friend Dre Reddy. And he actually has a podcast called the Ever After Podcast, and he discusses black love. And the question that he posed, which I thought was interesting, was which cheating, which type of cheating is worse, physical or emotional? And of course, you know, most people said both, and I fought the urge to say both, which I low-key said it even though, I, you know, I didn't say it. Um, most people that didn't say both said emotional, and we all know why. So this is my breakdown of it. Emotional and physical are two aspects of a relationship that some would say you need. But for me, I would say the physical aspect of a relationship is a want. <coughs> the emotional is a need. So if you do something that um, constitutes cheating on a physical level, it's something that you want, right? Right? But if you connect with someone on an emotional level, it's a need of your body. Like, it's a need of your mental. It's a need of you to connect with someone emotionally. You cannot have a relationship without an emotional connection. It's a need for your relationship to survive. So when you start splitting your needs between two people... So your needs are being met by two different people versus your wants being met. That's when you have a problem because if you just want to do something, you can just stop. Because it's like, oh, well, I'm eating bread because I want to. So I guess I don't need to eat bread, so I'll just stop eating bread, you know, because it's a want. But if you need something, as in you need it to survive, which is what I see the emotional aspect of a relationship is. A relationship cannot survive without an emotional um, tie or bond or whatever. So if you're saying that I need this emotional connection with this person for us to have a relationship that works, and then now this person is now having an emotional connection with someone else and myself or just someone else, like they just transferred the shit, that's a thousand percent worse because now I'm not fulfilling a need. Not fulfilling a want is different than not fulfilling a need. And like I said, it's because one of them you don't really have to have. It'll be nice, but you don't have to have it. So that's why I say that the emotional is worse. So let me know what y'all think. Y'all think the want is worse or the need is worse? Um, emotional or physical so I say emotional of course we say both because once you do something without thinking of me then no it's a wrap so for me you have to think about me in every aspect and when you don't think about me that's when I know it's a problem so I'm sure you stuck your dick in her it's a process you have to go through before you have sex with somebody so while you're going through all those motions to have sex, you didn't think about me one time. Yeah, that's a problem. So same difference with this emotional stuff. Once you have these conversations with this person and you didn't think about me or you thought about me and you didn't care enough not to do it or care enough to readjust your behavior, that's a problem. So for me, any kind of cheating is, is not going to work for me because you're purposely or actively not thinking about me while it's happening so that's my take on cheating altogether but which one y'all think is worse physical or emotional